Jersey Smite, Sandra West, Jen Hearn, Kelly Gonio, Stormy Capucho, Morena Morales, Maricon Empleo, Hina Patel, Christine Mendoza, Angel Lavender, Jennifer Shroba, Patricia Lindsay. Monday, 1.46 p.m. and today's packing vlog, we start off with Jennifer Shroba in the U.S. and this is her May by Anna Dittman and also August by Anna Dittman. She's got a whole calendar series of um, different paintings of beautiful women representing each month and so it runs from January to December and um, you can check it out on our uh, website. Uh, this is in 40 by 30 and she got both of them in rounds. And then she also has two of Cybel Arts paintings. This is Lucy and it is also a Yummy. Uh, we've got a Yummy in 30 by 44 cm rounds and Lucy is in a nice long canvas size 30 by 73 cm. She's also done special treatments on those so I'll show you the special treatment that she's chosen for each of her Cybel Art paintings. Also, Jennifer, congratulations because you have now made it to VIP status at Diamond Shop. So here is your second diamond pouch and stickers together with your animal diamond stickers. Don't forget that up next is Diamond VIP. Thank you so much for shopping with us, Jennifer. And now you have access to the secret store at the shop where only our VIPs can um, access. And this is your key, which is really just a symbol of your access to the VIP store at the shop. So thank you so much for shopping with us. We appreciate your patronage. two Anna Dittman calendar diamond paintings for August and also for May, you get electric diamonds. Here they are that you can use to electrify your painting. So we've done um, several suggestions for this kind of special treatment that you can do on your paintings. So let me show you now some of the ideas. So for Anna Dittman's February, here is one of the suggested ways to conduct the special treatment with the electric diamonds that you're given. And that is to place them along the outline of some of the flowers and also some in the background. So it's up to you how you'd like to do this, but this is just a suggestion. Another one, and this is for January, is to place it on the flowers in her hair, just specks sort of in the middle of the flowers. So you can do it this way as well. And for June, it is merely outlining the inner sides of the flower that the rose that's uh, on her dress and so it just gives it a subtle touch and remember you get electric diamonds with every single Anna Dittman calendar diamond painting so this runs from January all the way to December. This one is for October and here we have just um, specks kind of scattered around the petals around her face. And so once again, these are just suggestions. You can choose to place it on the background as specks in the background or on a particular flower or spread it out like in this video.
And finally, for August, we have here just a little bit of the electric diamonds sort of in random places on the petals of the flowers. So once again, you can do this either before you start diamond painting, the rest with the regular drills, or you can actually start with the regular drills and kind of decide where you'd like to place the electric diamonds along the way. US and it's for Patricia Lindsay. It's her Magic Dream by Cyber Art in 73 by 30 cm rounds and Song of the Sea by Yi Shu Wang in 40 by 51 cm rounds. So these are actually some of the latest additions that we had at the shop by Cyber Art and Yi Shu Wang. If you have not yet checked out their collection, go on ahead and check it out. Yi Shu Wang, just type that in on our search browser on the website and also Cyber Art.
super pretty. There's 40 colors. Gorgeous. And beautiful. Flowers by Howie Green. It is simply gorgeous. Cannot wait to work on that. Butterflies on her mind. Angel Lavender, or is it Lavender? So just correct me if I'm wrong, Angel, how to pronounce your last name. Um, just comment down below and um, give me the phonetics on that. This is Bound for the U.S., and I've got your White Dragon Girl by Yishu Wang in size 30 by 37 rounds, Blue in 40 by 40 rounds, and Hide in 30 by 73 rounds. So we've got Blue and Hide by Cyber Art and White Dragon Girl by Yishu Wang, which is actually super cute considering it is only size 30 by 37. Here, let me show you the canvas. It's a very small canvas, but it does not lose any of the detail that we have seen previously in the larger canvases. All right, enjoy, Angel. Hina Patel. It is her golden rod drill pen. So here is the drill pen. It looks like a metal stick, but the cap unscrews to reveal the drill tip. There's the drill tip. And it's got some weight to it. So just screw the cap back on, and there is your golden rod drill pen. And because it is your first time purchasing with us, 
we are going to be gifting you with a Daimoon pouch and some stickers as a token of our appreciation. Thank you so much for shopping with us, Hina. Okay, this one is bound for right here in the Philippines, and it's for Maricon Empleo. It's her June blooms in 45 by 58 cm rounds. So Maricon actually messaged and said that Margaret Morales is one of her favorite artists, and um, she's just excited to receive this diamond painting. So um, glad that you like our artist. And as a token of our appreciation for checking out the store, here is your diamond pouch and stickers as a thank you. Maraming salamat, Maricon! Maricon, um, you will receive fire opals. These are three vials of fire opals and one vial of pink fluoride. And this is to further enhance your diamond painting to make it look even more sparkly and to uh, basically personalize it the way you would want to. So here is the canvas and you can basically put the fire opals on any of the flowers, perhaps like some parts in the middle of the flowers or kind of disperse it in the background. It's up to you how you'd like to do it. And the great thing about these diamond painting canvases is that it's easy to place a drill and then remove it and then transfer it somewhere else without compromising the, the, the durability and the quality of your canvas. It's easy to just move beads about. So experiment how you would like to do it, but you have your special drills, your pink fluorite and your fire opal. And just to give you an example of what it could look like, this is the version that we have made for June Blooms, which you saw in the finished video. So here, basically I've placed it on some areas right here. So these are the fire opals. You see that? It's a very, very faint sparkle. There you see that? These two? So you can just kind of embellish it in certain areas to give it an added light, an added sparkle and dazzle. And then we've got some more over here. And then for the pink fluorite, I kind of focus more on these pink flowers. So these ones have the fire opal. Let me see if I can show it to you. Oh, these ones have the pink fluorite. I'm sorry. Not fire opal. Not pink fire opal. This is the, um, right here is the pink fluorite. And then here is the fire opal. So pink fluorite over here and then fire opal over here. So that is the fire opal that you see, and then the pink fluorite is this one. So enjoy customizing and personalizing your very own Margaret Morales June Blooms diamond painting.
next one is also for the Philippines and it's for Christy Mendoza. It's her custom called True Colors and it's in rounds in 50 by 75 cm. is for Jen Hearn in the US. It's her Zuli Rainbow Feather Blue Art Tube as well as White Bunnies 40 by 40 Rounds by Yishu Wang and Kaori by Saibu Art in 41 by 30 Rounds. And she also has a mini box cutter. Oh, now we want to remove it. Oh, no. 
Huh? Okay, one more tape. Where are we gonna put this? Okay, yay! Good job. You just packed up one kid. Good job. <laughs> they won't be able to open their packages, Zuli. Okay, look. Say, look over there. Say bye bye. Bye, bye kiss. Bye kiss. It's a long flying kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Super long. Yeah. Super long. One more time. One more time. One more time. Like it. Mwah. Mwah. Over there. Mwah. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Uli, for your help. Thank you. Bye. 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 Here is Cybel Arts Kaori, and for version one, there are electric diamonds that are sprinkled lightly in the background. That's in these areas where you see a little bit of sparkles. And for version two, not only do we have the electric diamonds in the background, but now we've added red crystals to some of the highlights on the butterfly and some of the outlines on the areas below as well as in her hair. And you can see where those red crystals are. For version three, we've got not only electric diamonds and red crystals, but we have our latest special drills, the Diamond Shop Gilded Crystals. And that's what you see, which is in gold, outlining specific areas in the painting. For Tracy and Emma, version one, we have electric diamonds in the background, just sprinkled on the sides and some on top. For version two, we have the electric diamonds in the background and now we've added aqua blue crystals on her sash, on her belt. There you go. As well as some on the accessory on Emma's hair. And this is for version two.
And now for version 3, we have the electric diamonds in the background, the aqua blue sash and hair accessories uh, in crystals, and now we've added lightning diamonds to the key over there. I believe that's a fan that she's holding, so that's outlined in lightning diamonds. And this is for version 3 of Tracy and Emma. This is Twinkle by Margaret Morales and for version 1 we have lightning diamonds that outline that arch behind the girl. For version 2 we have the lightning diamonds for the arch and now we've added electric diamonds for the stars around her. Those are the areas that we see behind her twinkling. And for version 3, we have the lightning diamonds for the arch as well as the electric diamonds for the stars. But now we've added more electric diamonds for her headdress. Um, that jewel that we see on her forehead, that is also in electric diamonds. And introducing Diamond Shop's latest crystals, we have here the Morganite. That's what we've placed for version 4 on the girl's uh, headdress. That's Morganite. We also have some stars that we've placed for the actual stars on the painting. And that's what we see here right about now. We see it in purple changing color to pink. So that actually will be placed on the canvas for the stars around her. Once again, this is for version 4 with our latest special drills. The stars as well as morganite crystals and then on the arch that we see around the girl these are electric diamonds so we've got some electric diamonds for tiny specks of stars but the arch is also in gilded crystals one of the latest that we have at the shop for special drills so once again we've got morganite electric diamonds gilded crystals and the stars for the US and it's for Marina Morales. It's the stars who listen in 45 by 56 squares and this is a painting originally done by Margaret Morales. I don't know if they're related but I hope that you enjoy your diamond painting uh, Marina and also you have just purchased your very first item at Diamond Shop so with that in mind here is your diamond pouch and stickers as a token of our appreciation hopefully we can have you visit the shop again soon and we hope that you enjoy working on your Margaret Morales diamond painting <music>
Okay, next is for Kelly Gonio in the U.S. And this is her final feeling in 30 by 37 cm squares by Margaret Morales. And also June Blooms in 45 by 58 cm rounds also by Margaret Morales. So here is your bag of beads for final feeling. And the canvas. So can you imagine this is only 30 by 37 cm. But we still see her face clearly, her hands, the details of the flowers around her, her hair. So I am pretty excited to see this finished. Once again, we offer all our artist collaboration diamond paintings in both rounds and squares. So just in case you don't see the squares option in the drop down menu when you check out or when you um, take a look at the product, all you have to do is message us and let us know so that we can get that set up for you. These are the beads for June Blooms and the canvas. So for June Blooms, you get both Fire Opal and Pink Fluorite Drills. These are some of our latest crystals at the shop. These are the Fire Opals. You'll get three vials with June Blooms and your Pink Fluorite. You get one vial with June Blooms. So for June Blooms, what you can do is you can experiment with how you'd like to um, conduct your special treatment on the painting. Um, just in case you haven't seen the finished June blooms that we've completed at the shop here. Check out the video so you get an idea. Next is for Stormy Capuccio, it's her Kaori in 54 by 40 cm rounds by Saibul Art, June Bloom's limited edition kit by Margaret Morales. It's actually the last limited edition kit that we are packing up for June Bloom's. She also has a Moon Journal in pink and also a Smiling Buddha by Claudia Tremblay in 32 by 40 cm rounds, Navajo also by Claudia Tremblay in 40 by 40 rounds and a groovy beadboard. So I'll first pack up her two Claudia Tremblay um, diamond paintings together with her Cybel art one and then we'll go on ahead and pack up the limited edition kit as well as the notebook and also the um, uh, groovy beadboard.
Stormy, here you've got, shining over here are the Fire Opals. And then you've got also the Pink Fluorites, which are over here. There's less of the Pink Fluorites, and that's why um, you'll get one vial of the Pink Fluorite and three vials for the Fire Opal. And basically what we would encourage you to do is to, you can follow the, the video of June Blooms, the finished um, project. But you can also conduct your own special treatment and make it unique and make it your own. Kind of decide if you would like to, for example, place it on the flowers or perhaps in the background. So it doesn't have to look exactly like this. And I think that is the fun um, aspect of the kit is that you can conduct your own special treatment and experiment. gonna go to Stormy. Yeah. Is there a shark there? Shark? Hat? Hat? <laughs> yeah, it's a purse. Okay. She's doing a, a double inspection, making sure mommy did it well. <laughs> did I pack it well? Yeah, nothing's gonna get damaged. Okay, so okay. this one's okay, good to go. What about this one? We gotta pack this up next. Is it good quality? What do you think? Gotta check the inside, all right, everything's good. Can we pack this like this too? Yeah, yeah. All right. All right, now let's go. Okay, say bye bye now, Zoo. Say shark. Shark? <laughs> Again, shark. Shark. Say shark. Shark. Yeah, the shark to do 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 do. Shark to do 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 do. Baby shark to do 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 do. Baby shark. 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 I'm going out. Okay, we gotta give this to Stormy. We're going out. All right, bye bye, Zoo. Say bye bye to everyone. Say bye. Bye, kiss. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> All right. We're gonna go play. Have fun. Bye. <laughs>
Barbies. You're gonna join. Oh, you wanna do the tape? But we need more of this wrapping paper because it didn't. Here, let's do this side. Oh, let's not tear it up. <laughs> All right, we gotta fold. Here, you want to do the sticker? We got to do it over here, though. Here. 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 Put the sticker. Yay! Good job. We got one more. The sticker. Here. Let's put it here in the bottom. Over there. Yay! Good job. Oh, oh, this is gonna be difficult. <laughs> it's mall, very big. The mall legs, yeah. Ayoko niya magpahawak pa kung tagi skeleton. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, say bye bye. Blind kiss. Wow. What's the shark again? Shark. Huh? Shark. <laughs> person here. the U.S. It's for Sandra West. This is her Open the Wings by Yi Shu Wang in 40 by 50 rounds as well as Fei He rounds 30 by 38 and this is also by Yi Shu Wang. Um, first quarter exam. How did you do? Good. You did well. And I and I heard the teacher said, I think. Wait, I I I mean um. I heard teacher said the smart, and then I think it was me. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was you that she was referring to. Oh. Because I was saying. Because I I I mean I heard the teacher said smart. It's smart. Uh -huh, but did she say your name? How do you know she's no. talking about you? No, I just did. 
Oh, okay. You would like to think it was you, huh? Uh, you hope it was you. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. It's, uh, Ooh. it's not... Can I see that? Which one? That ruler. Ruler? Oh. Wow! Mm. Whoa! Yeah. Is this a... It's called a snail. Oh, a snail? Snail. <laughs> one for today is for Carissa Smite and this is her um, custom order. It's a photo of her and her brother, her late brother, um, who she loves very much. This is actually the second custom that she's had made with us of her brother and um, it was actually a photo of um, to them together already in a frame and that was the only photo that she had and so when she sent it to us she asked if it would be possible to make it into a diamond painting. And so we took a look at the photo. Reggie, um, you know, did his magic. And basically, this is the canvas that came out. So um, here, this is the photo that she submitted for um, inquiry um, about the custom order. And I'll show you the canvas shortly. So remember, if you would like to turn any of your um, portraits, your photographs, um, whether it's a, a, um, a professionally done photo, or perhaps a candid shot, uh, we can always take a look at it and give you um, a suggestion on whether or not it would turn out well as a diamond painting. And of course, um, these custom orders also come with several size options, so you guys can choose whether you'd like the smaller size for a less expensive price or the much larger sizes for a little higher cost. Um, obviously, the bigger the size, the clearer the image as there will be less pixelation altogether. So hopefully, Carissa, you like how this one turned out and how um, this one turned out. Hopefully, I would definitely like to, to see. So please share it with us, Carissa, as soon as you finish this painting. All right, here are the beads. Actually quite colorful. I think mainly it's uh, because of Carissa's red dress. And here is the canvas. I have to make sure when I show it to you that there's no glare. So there you go. Change the background. Oh, and Reggie said that she he actually changed the background. So let's um let's show that original photo over here so you guys can see. Basically the photo is um of them with a background it was a little bit of a distraction because obviously since this is a, a portrait, you know, you'd want to just focus on the people in the picture instead of focusing on the background. And so Reggie took that out and actually gave it a plain background so that we can just focus on um, the people in the image, which is Carissa and her brother. What do you think about the edit that we've made for this custom order? Let us know what you think. Comment down below if you like what Reggie did with editing out the background so that there's more focus on um, the people in the picture. Let us know.
also has a an ice cream squeeze drill pen in blue. So I'll be packing this up together with your custom order. Also, Carissa in the past has purchased two um, bead boards, two sticker bead boards. So as I've mentioned, if you've purchased the uh, sticker bead boards in the past, not the hand painted ones, but the sticker boards, all you have to do is let me know, let us know, send us a message on Facebook, on Messenger, or send us an email at uh, diamondshop at gmail.com, and we will include the matching marker for your bead board that you purchased previously. So um, we might not have it in stock at the moment, but just let us know so that the next time you make your purchase, we can include it in your order. So she recently bought the um, Galaxy, Purple Galaxy bead board. So here is the matching marker. And she also got the Skate bead board um, because her brother, her late brother, the one in this custom was actually a skateboarder. So um, she felt a bit, um, um, what do you call this? She felt attuned with um, that particular beadboard. So here is the skate beadboard marker. And once again, these are refillable. So all you have to do is put the cap on the top and then turn it anti-clockwise or counterclockwise. And then there you have it. You simply drop some of the um, refillable ink highlighter ink, or no, this is not highlighter, I mean um, whiteboard marker ink, and then screw it back on, make sure it's tight, and then remove, and now it's a cover again. So, enjoy, and thank you. Bye.